What is up, guys? Welcome back. I'm Christian. Uh, we're going to run through our locks of the day like we do every day. I'll give you guys one pitcher on both sites and three hitters on both sites. Looking at FanDuel and DraftKings. But I just wanted to show you guys the website real quick, locksdfs.com. Uh, you can go to the shop. We've got, uh, we do optimal and GBP every day. So season pass, uh, you can try us out for a week for $25. Uh, you can try out the month pass for GBP lineups. And if uh, obviously if you're into soccer, World Cup coming up, we've got a pass for that too. So go check us out. Lineups will be posted on the website 30 minutes before lock. Uh, let me show you guys what that looks like real quick. And that's basically, those are from yesterday. So let's jump into the slate for today. We'll start on FanDuel. Uh, the pitcher we're going to be locking in probably on both sides. We're not sure exactly on FanDuel yet. We could change this, but for now, I'm settling on Jose Quintana. Obviously, there's Aaron Nola up there, a little higher. Um, there's a few guys down here who are interesting. Jordan Lyles is 1.2 less. Um, uh, a few other guys down here as well. Shane Bieber is here at 6K, uh, he's the prospect, so obviously a little bit of a risk. But right now, Quintana is the guy Ron. There's lots of reasons to like Quintana. Uh, he's a 162 favorite. Mets have a low 3.5 team total, and it's a bullpen game for the, them. So, I mean, Quintana's looking like he's going to be in line for a win here. Uh, Mets, extremely lefty heavy without Jonas Cespedes. They've got Nimmo, Conforto, Jay Bruce, um, and they K 27% versus left handed bats. Worst Wobo, worst WRC plus in the league against left handed pitchers. Um, so Quintana's really in a great matchup here. Quintana, he's he, he's going to come in every single game and come in with about with a really nice strikeout prediction. Um, his K per nine for everyone is over is over nine, but also uh, twenty seven point eight percent K rate versus lefties and a hard hit rate at only twenty six point five percent. So he really really maintains lefties, and most of the bats we're scared of on this Mets team are lefties. So Quintana's the guy we're going with. Um, Yankees have the highest team total on the day, and there's two guys on the Yankees, especially this one here. Greg Bird at 2.8K. Um, uh, just to give you guys a little bonus for the Yankees, he's going to be batting leadoff. Brett Gardner, he's at 3-1. Um, as long as he's batting leadoff and, um, and the weather is good, those two guys are really good plays, I think, for their price on FanDuel. Um, just to run through the kind of the spot there in Kashner, they're facing Andrew Kashner, who has really uh, not been great this year. He's had a few games where he's especially got blown up, got, gotten blown up in. But uh, Kashner, 11 home runs and 11 starts, and his numbers really stand out against lefties. 49% fly ball rate, 33% hard contact rate, 2.12 home run per nine, all to lefties. Bird and Gardner both come to the plate as lefties. Um, Bird's probably still that far down because he's coming off of injury, but over the last year, 354 Woba, 322 ISO uh, versus lefties. He's playing in the small park there at Camden Yard. So same thing goes for Brett Gardner. He just hit, came off a game where he hit two home runs the other day, but we're not really expecting that from him, obviously. Um, his price is just really good for a leadoff guy uh, on, a, on a team with a six-team total. So those two guys are both really well in play. And the guy we keep, next lock is a guy we keep going back to um, is Gene Segura, Segura um, on Fandle. His price is just really... Really messed up. It seems <laughs> seems really wonky to be fourteen hundred less than Lindor, um, thirteen hundred less than Machado. I think he should be right here, really, with Carlos Correa, Didi, Xander in this price range. And yeah, we keep getting him here at this low three three price. Um, he's facing Mike Miner. Really, Seattle. Uh, their team total is dropping, but despite that, we're still really big fans of Seattle today. Segura uh, faces Mike Miner, three eighty wOBA, four fifty five. Uh, or sorry, 3, 380 Woba, 45.5% fly ball, 41% hard contact. That's all to right-handed bats. Um, Segura is solid um, versus both hands, but he gets a little bit of a power advantage against the lefties. Um, like I said, other Seattle players are in play. Nelson Cruz, Mitch Hanniger. We'll talk about them when we go over to DraftKings. Um, the last player I want to throw as a, as a lock, I really like his price over here on, on FanDuel, is George Springer. Um, Dude mashes lefties. I mean, not only is George Springer a great player, and I think he's, he's again, I think he's a little underpriced right now. Probably should be around 4'6 or so um, to me. But uh, he really, he's crushed left-handed pitchers all year. 321 ISO, 420 Woba, um, and you're getting him at a discount here. So Pomeranz, uh, not good at all versus right-handed bats. Uh, 415 Woba, 509 XFIP to right-handed pitcher, or to right-handed batters, excuse me, and uh, fly ball rate is above the ground ball rate on both hands. So pitcher definitely to target today. He's, the Houston is definitely one of our favorite teams, and I believe that Vegas agrees with the, with me on that. We can pull it up right here and pull up Houston. Am I scrolling past them? Where are they at? Yeah, 5-4 team total, one of the best on the day. So that will wrap up FanDuel for us. You've got Quintana, Bird, Segura, and Springer, and I threw in Gardner as a little bonus for you guys there. really like him. Don't know if I'm up in our cash team, but I think he's a very, very good price for looking for some value. Um, Quintana is the same pitcher again on DK. I, I want to run through the, real quick the other pitchers on on uh, DK that we'll consider, and it really is going to change 
what you're how you build this team. But um, Aaron Nola is probably the option at the top that you're looking at. Jake Flaherty's in in play for uh, for a lot of people. We probably won't be looking there. Um, Sean Newcomb I like for GBPs, but not in cash. Bieber and Lyles here in this midsection are going to be right there, right there with Quintana too. So I think it's going to be interesting to see where the ownership lands on those three because I think all three will garner some ownership there. Um, so those are really the guys we're considering a pitcher outside of Quintana just to kind of help you start your build over here on DraftKings. Um, with that build, I mean, imagine if we go with Lyles. Let's just put, plug him in for now. You're going to have a lot of money to spend on DraftKings. So uh, really, the first guy where I pl- I'm going to plug in, and we've been doing this, I feel like, quite a bit, especially on shorter slates where the Indians play. Like the, I think it was uh, just yesterday, actually, yesterday morning, if I'm remembering right, uh, the Indians were playing, and we played Joe Rom. Um Again, you're going to have money to spend here on on, on, um, on DK, and Odorizzi is who he's facing in Minnesota. Um, Five-ball pitcher that has especially struggled with lefties this year. 222 home run per nine, 5227 XFIP to left-handed bats. Fly ball right over 50%. He's a career fly ball pitcher. So um, all the Indians are in play here. I mean, the top of their lineup is all lefties. It's got Lindor, Brantley, and Ramirez. And you've got Yonder Alonso in that five spot. You can play at first base. So uh, Melky Cabrera, even in the outfield, is kind of a value play there. So... All those guys are in play for Cleveland. Um, Ramirez is our favorite, but Lindor is, is definitely in play there as well. Um, then in the outfield, we've got Nelson Cruz. I think, again, we talked about Seattle is Mike Miner. I think both of these guys, um, let me pull it out there real quick. Nelson Cruz and Hanniger in play here again, just like they were last night. Hanniger, um, Hanniger's stats are actually a little bit better. Hanniger, uh, 400 more. His ISO versus lefties is just insane this year at 444. And a woe of 443 this season. Uh, Cruz, still very good versus lefties. Uh, 225 ISO and a 372 Woba. Um, and both of those uh, numbers have risen at home this season. So um, both of those guys are in play. Uh, really, you could go either way. If you have the money, def- I-, I would definitely go up. They want to just leave $100. I think Hanniger is worth the 400 probably. Um, and then one guy that we wanted to kind of save a little bit of money on. Because, I mean, if you go to this guy, uh, his stats are great. Uh, it's Hunter Renfro against Wee and Chin. I think that's how you say his name. Um, again, a guy that's going to save you a little bit of money at 3-6 here. He's been injured, just coming back from injury from an uh, April injury. Uh, but, I mean, this dude mashes, mashes, mashes lefties in his career. 351 ISO, 421 Woba, and 167 WRC+. Plus. Um, he's been even, he's been about – he's those numbers are pretty much static across home and away games. I wanted to look at that just because he's playing in Petco. Um, I mean, he doesn't struggle at Petco. It's pretty much the same. You're looking at the same type of numbers from Hunter Renfro at Petco. So um, he's he, I believe, if I'm remembering right, didn't he? So he's just coming back from injury again. Like I said, he's only had one full game. So um, it's really hard to judge if he's fully back. Uh, but, I mean, he sat out for – he was on the 10-day DL list and then was out for over a month. So I think he's good to go and he's back fully. Um, as long as he's in the lineup, I think he'll be fine. Uh, we and Chen want to talk about him real quick. Probably still regressing to a normal level. I mean, this dude got really, really hit hard in the beginning of the year um, on his first three or four starts. So he's still coming down to earth a little bit, I think. And you saw that last game. Um, but still, 372 Woban, a 7.1, uh, 7.18 XFIP to right-handed bats this year. K rate's only at 10%, so that's not really something to think about. Fly ball rate over 50%. And, I mean, Chen, Chen has been awful this year, like, uh, he's probably, like I said, he's probably going to regress back to a normal sort of level. But even his normal level, if we're looking at la- his last year's stats versus righties, XFIP is over five to right-handed bats. He gives up a pretty pretty good amount of hard hit. I know it's over about, I think it's around 35%. So um, he even on even on a decent year for Wee and Chen, this is a spot that we can target him in, especially with Renfro's heavy, heavy splits versus left-handed pitchers. Um, yeah, I, this is Renfro's first chance to face a lefty since he's been back. Um, and I really, really like the spot for him. So... Uh, I, and I think even the other Padres are in play. I think they're a really good team to go with if you're going to save money. Vegas is really not a big fan of them. If you see uh, their 4-1 team total here. And so I don't know if they'll garner ownership or not. It'll be interesting to see. But I think that their team total is a little low. I think it, I think I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if it rises by the end of the day up to like 4-4 or something like that. But something to keep an eye on. Um, but with that said, those are our locks. Uh, we've got Jose Ramirez, Nelson Cruz, and Hunter Renfro on DK. Lyles is not a lock. I just kind of put him in the lineup so you can see what the build looks like. But I mean, if you keep him in, you've got about four or five per for every position. So you're gonna have a you're gonna have a choice of a few more studs. You know, if you get Renfro, you're gonna have, you might be able to pick another stud outfielder at shortstop. You can go with Machado or Didi or something like that or Lindor. Um, Machado is in a good play, a good spot versus Sonny Gray. I didn't talk about that. I like Jonathan Scope a little bit as well. 
Um, there's lots of spots you can go. So you definitely be able to afford another stud or two with these two pitchers in. So, yeah, that is those are our locks of the day. Uh, again, check us out on locksdfs.com, lineups. Um, you, you also, with the subscriptions, you get cheat sheets, which will outline our favorite plays of the day. Um, you know, hopefully can guide you guys down a path of winning in DFS. And of course you can check us out, check us out on Twitter at locks DFS doc, or at locks DFS on Twitter. And, um, again, if you wanted to win a free week of, uh, locks DFS optimal and GPP subscription, you can, uh, just comment down below, put your Twitter handle and, uh, put your Twitter handle and your favorite player of the day. Um, if whether it's one of our locks or not, your favorite player of the day, um, and, uh, you'll be entered to win and we'll pick a winner after lock today. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we will be back tomorrow.